Hey mamas, in today's video, I will go through my hospital bag. I'm currently 35 weeks pregnant and I'm super excited. I am planning for a vaginal birth, but I have packed items for a C-section just in case that were to be performed. If you've watched other hospital bag videos and you feel overwhelmed, don't worry, I have a few tips that will make your life easier. Okay, let's get into it. So there are two ways to approaching your hospital bag. Number one, pack for labor, and then number two, pack for postnatal stay. There are so many items for you to bring. However, there are six categories that I recommend that you pack in. Number one is clothes. Number two is comfort. Number three is hygiene. Number four is food. Number five is documents. And number six is technology. Okay, before I continue, my name is Mishi and on this channel I talk about motherhood. My goal is to support women so that we can all feel more confident in our own personal journeys. I'd love for you to be part of this community, so please subscribe. Okay, so I do have a roller bag, so let's pull that out. Now, you can definitely pack a leather bag, a shoulder bag, a roller bag, whatever that is, whatever that suits you. For me, I have the top layer is for labor and the bottom layer is for postnatal stay. So let's go through it. Okay, let's go through this really quickly. Um, I've got my documents, my yellow card for the hospital. Something that you might um, consider is putting a sign just for your partner to make sure that the card doesn't get towed away. Now I am addressing labor, so these things might help. I've been told to bring a water spray bottle just to keep you cool, nasal spray if you want to, you know, breathe and relax, lip balm. Got a heat pack here. I've got a TENS machine. This is great for just relaxing and you can use this during your contractions. I've heard that using a comb and digging it into your arm or your hand will help you get through some of those contractions. Oops, stress ball. Okay, so packing for hygiene, you know what to bring uh, when it comes to postnatal stay and labor, toothbrush, deodorant, wipes, this is great for breastfeeding, massage oils, hand sanitizer, masks, you name it, earplugs, eye masks, everything you need to stay clean. Woo! Okay, so I've got other items here, just like a swimsuit, a bikini, compression socks. Okay, let's go through my bag for postnatal stay. Um, I think I might stay for the shortest period. That's the idea, that's my birth plan. If it doesn't go to plan, then that's fine. Make sure that my partner brings me the items that I need if I need extra clothes, extra supplies, so on and so forth. I've got some flushable wipes. Uh, that's just because I don't want to find the rubbish bin or, you know, it might be a bloody show, you don't know. So this will help. Let's open it right now because I'm actually curious to see what it looks like. Now this would be for the postpartum bleeding. Okay, that's interesting. Maybe I got a bigger size. All right, so this is medium. And as you can see, it's like a large brief with a pad stuck to it. I bought this from Woolworths. I'm sure it will be available at Coles or your independent supermarket. I also did pack some normal pads just in case. Now everything I have in here, I didn't buy brand new. I just sourced it from home. So I highly recommend that you don't need to go to Kmart, you don't need to go to Big W or any other store just to buy new things. It does help if it, your hospital bag is already packed. However, early labor um, does begin at home and you have time to pack. Okay, so again, maternity bras, a whole heap of undies. I've got a loose dress just to wear at the hospital, a t-shirt dress and a going home outfit so I look decent. I've got a robe here. Did get it from Kmart. Funny enough, I actually got this from the men's section because I liked how it was just gray and loose and long. So the only thing that I also have here that's quite cute is just a button up. PJs, that's so that it's easy for me to breastfeed, but it's pants as well, just so I can stay warm at the hospital. I just got a little small hand towel here. 
I've got a few nursing pads. I have been told that your milk doesn't come in until three days later, but again, it's just good to pack. Got some socks for the hospital and a long charging cable. That's what I've been told. You don't know if your bed is going to be close to the power point, so pack a long charging cable as well as a portable battery. I got from eBay, or you can get it from Amazon, it's a peri bottle. Now this can be good for both cesarean or natural birth, vaginal birth, just because if you do get a cesarean, you don't want to be twisting your body to wipe. So consider one of these. And lastly, packing for Bubba, you'd need your essential items like a onesie, a swaddle, nappies and wipes. Hopefully the hospital will provide you with a little goodie bag full of things. I know that New South Wales Health and the public healthcare system, they provide a little goodie bag with first aid, a thermometer and things like that. So you can also use those items as well. The items that I don't have here right now, I'll pack just before I head to the hospital during early or active labor. And it would be things like phone, your, 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 your handbag, your portable batteries, headphones, aroma, your diffuser, oil for massage. I've got a massage gun, food, snacks, and anything else. Okay, that's it. There are three key takeaways that I'd love to share with you. Number one, use Google Sheets to write down all of the things that you need for the hospital. Number two, you do not need to buy anything brand new. You can source everything from home, from your slippers, from your robe to your PJs, undies and everything. And number three, you do have time to go to the hospital, which is early labor into active labor and you have time to pack. If you enjoyed the video, please like and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.